Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking another look at Red Dead Redemption running on RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. So first of all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to load into one of my game saves at the very start of the game in the New Friends Old Problems mission. The build of RPCS3 I am using is KD11's Work in Progress PR, you can find a link to this down in the description of this video. Let's now sit back for one minute and see in this rendered cutscene exactly how much our gameplay experience has improved so using this work in progress build. I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. So clearly you can see that render-wise, this game has seen an absolutely enormous increase in visual fidelity. Now that we're in gameplay, we can take some comparisons between older builds and the current RPCS3 work-in-progress build I'm using for this video. So when we look around you can see that where I was previously getting 4, 5 and 6 FPS, I have now boosted up to around 11, 12, 13 and hitting a maximum of around 16 and 17 frames per second. Most of these performance issues are limited to areas like towns, villages and ranches, basically any area that contains large numbers of NPCs, friendly or enemy AI or complex geometry like buildings. Let's now quickly transition back to some gameplay footage from the latest master build at time of making this video and make a visual comparison between all of these new rendering changes in KD11's work in progress build. As is very very obvious, the render quality is not even comparable between these two different versions. KD11's work in progress build has not only fixed this shadow culling issue where our shadows are only being rendered about 2 meters away from the character, but it has also given us a fairly substantial performance increase across the board. Please do bear in mind that when I am not recording my gameplay, I am getting about an extra 2 to 3 and 4 frames per second at any given time, meaning that in situations where you are seeing 9 and 10 FPS, in reality my computer is going to be pushing about 13, 14 and 15 frames per second. When we consider that Red Dead Redemption on the PlayStation 3 is a 30 FPS capped game, the fact that I am getting anywhere near to half its frame rate in my worst case scenario is very, very impressive indeed. Let's just continue along this missions path where we are going to take a continued look at this game's improved rendering quality and performance levels. 
For the most part, when you look out into the wilderness, your frame rates are going to skyrocket. In a similar fashion, when you look down at the ground, you're going to be hitting near enough the frame limit of 30 FPS, and when you look up to the sky, you're also going to be hitting 30. This is typical due to the fact that practically nothing is going to be rendered when looking in these different directions. Another thing we need to remember when watching these kind of performance videos is the fact that this is almost a best case scenario. You as the user need to remember that I am running an i7-8700K clocked at 4.9GHz, 16GB of DDR4, 3200MHz RAM and a GTX 980Ti 6GB graphics card. The 8700K 6-core 12-thread CPU is especially going to play a massive part in my performance in RPCS3. For anybody who is not aware, this PlayStation 3 emulator is actually able to utilize CPUs that have very high core amounts and very high core clocks. Some CPUs that are very, very good with this emulator include my 8700K, the i5-8600K or any AMD Ryzen CPU that has 6 or more physical cores. Some of the most popular AMD Ryzen CPUs for RPCS3 users include but are not limited to the 1600, the 1700 and 1700X and even some of the newer Zen Plus CPUs like the 2600 or 2700X. These CPUs are very good performance wise on this emulator due to the fact that not only do they have very high core amounts, but they have very very good single core IPC and can run at clock speeds ranging from 3.6 to 4.3 GHz. Ok, so now that we've started our tour of the McFarlane Ranch, let's let this gameplay sequence play out and monitor our performance and render quality while playing. Let's see if any of you guys can spot something very strange that only happens in Red Dead Redemption when running it on RPCS3. I'll give you a very quick hint, it is in relation to the tracks left behind by our horse. And I don't think any of us would disagree with that statement. Taking a look at performance in this area, you can see that when we look out to the wilderness once again, we jump up to the mid to low 20s and when we look back in towards the farm, this area itself is especially grueling for me when I am recording gameplay. You are about to see that when we pass this barn area, I'm going to drop down, yeah, as you can see, I'm dropping down to well under 10 FPS. When I turn off screen recording, this will jump straight up to around 14, 15 and 16 frames per second. For anybody who is wondering, I use mostly Nvidia Share to capture any of my gameplay footage and I usually capture at either 1440p or 4K resolutions. Even though this capture software which is built into Nvidia GPUs is not meant to have much of a performance impact on gameplay when you're using it, I have noticed that at least with emulation I do get fairly substantial performance drops when capturing gameplay footage. I would however imagine that these performance drops are mostly due to the fact that these emulators are very very experimental in nature. Let's now transition over into some nighttime gameplay where I'm going to show you some fixes that you can apply to Red Dead Redemption if you experience them in game. So as you can see in this gameplay sequence, all of the light sources in this nighttime situation are completely broken. If you come over to the graphics tab of your selected game and turn on the option right color buffers, your light sources in nighttime situations will no longer be horribly broken. However, at time of making this video, there is a small bug in gameplay where we will experience from time to time a small white flickering, you can notice it in the gameplay right now. Despite all my searching around on the RPCS3 forums and over on their Discord itself, I have not been able to find a fix for this strange white flickering effect. It seems to mostly happen when you are near any of these affected light sources. Regardless of this small flickering or flashing issue, it is fairly clear to see that these work in progress changes when merged to the master build of RPCS3 are going to give us some enormous performance and render increases in our games. 
In the coming days, I'm going to also be testing such popular games like Gears of War 3, Demon Souls, and if there are any other titles you would like me to test, do not hesitate to leave a comment stating your game down below this video and if I can do so, I will test that game for you. If you want to help with the development of RPCS3, this PlayStation 3 emulator, you can do so by simply heading on over to their Patreon and pledging to support them. You will find a link to this Patreon down in the description of this video. Additionally, if you wish to help support me and my channel, you will also find a link to the BSOD Gaming Patreon down there also. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.